Hey everyone, Christopher Walker here, and today I want to tell you a story not just about cues, but about a journey. The story of where it all began, what I've been through, and why I have officially rebranded from KCC to Obsidian Cues, something much deeper. This is more than just a name change. This is about evolution reinvention survival and if you stick with me i think you'll understand why it means so much to me especially back in 1995 i made a decision that would define the rest of my life basically uh, i was young hungry obsessive about precision and i wanted to build cues that weren't just good uh, i wanted <laughs> I wanted to build cues that made people stop and feel something. I didn't come from a legacy of cue making families. Um, I didn't have a blueprint. What I had was a lathe, with some hand tools, and a burning desire to learn everything that I could. I taught myself everything from tapering. Uh, math to ring work and uh, failed more times than I can count but with every failure came a lesson and over time I earned my place in the uh, in the I learned I earned my place in the craft the hard way by building tearing down and rebuilding again that's how KCC was born and the rise and the turmoil you know the, through the through the 2000s and into the early 2010s well kcc grew uh, it became uh well i began building cues for players all over the world uh, the name meant something people were taking notice but not everything was smooth sailing about a decade ago as many of you already know kcc hit a wall a mix of personal storms, uh, public missteps, and business growing pains. I went through a time of deep reflection and honestly, a kind of a reckoning. There was, there, there were some rough years, uh, you know, the kind where you question everything, who you are, um, what you're doing, and if it's even worth continuing. But I didn't quit. I knew I hadn't yet said everything I needed to say through the wood, through the detail, and through design. And that's when I began laying down the foundation for something new. And that is creating Qmakers Guild. In the middle of that storm that I was just talking about, something else happened. Something that changed the entire Qmaking community or rather for the entire key making community in my world and that's when i started key makers guild not as a business not as a monetary gain or money making venture but as a way to give back you know when i started in 1995 30 years ago i had no one i had to invent my own methods you know, build my own jigs and learn by trial and error. Uh, I didn't want the next generation to have to go through that. I wanted to create a space where key makers, old and new, can learn, grow, and share knowledge openly. And so I began recording tutorials, uh, you know, on key making, start to finish, uh, CNC tool pathing and tutorials, you know, cutting inlays, uh, uh, ring pocketing. Uh, inlay pocketing and machining shafts and you name it you know I've been trying to make videos to kind of revolve and orbit around all of that and today you know the Keymakers Guild is working on being one of the largest free educational archives for Keymakers anywhere in the world that I know of and it will always be that way and stay that way because I believe in lifting the entire craft not keeping secrets uh, in the shadows like so many other key makers do. 
you know. But moving on, and another reason for the name change to Obsidian and all that good stuff, you know, the MS diagnosis. That's a new challenge. You know, something happened I never expected. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. It hit me like a freight train. MS is unpredictable. You know, the fatigue, the vision issues, the cognitive fog, the muscle tremor, tremors, the, the leg weaknesses, and, and stuff like that. And when your life's work depends on your precision, well, that's a, that, kind of, that kind of diagnosis really cuts deep. At first, I felt, de I felt defeated, but I didn't stay down. I took a very holistic approach, no medications because I don't believe in Western medicine, no shortcuts, just discipline, nutrition, and raw determination. The shop became my therapy, uh, my anchor. Every inlay, every pass on the lathe, every fit check, it all had more meaning than ever before. And, you know, it, with that, and that's where machine meets hands, you know, precision meets soul kind of thing. People sometimes assume that CNC does all the work. But let me set the record straight. And yes, I use high-end 4-axis CNC machining. Yes, I design my own post-processors, write my own G-code, and hold tolerances within, you know, five ten thousandths of an inch. And yes, I machine parts most Q makers wouldn't attempt without a CNC setup. But here's the truth. Every inlay is still installed by hand. Every ring is still hand fitted to perfection. Every wrap groove is dialed in by feel. And every final pass is made with a human touch, not a machine. I don't believe in pushing buttons and walking away. I believe in using machines to achieve a level of precision that human hands alone can't reach. And then using the same hands to bring that soul into it. That's the marriage of technology and tradition. And that is Obsidian Cues. Now, why Obsidian? Well, uh, because if you look up obsidian, you know, obsidian is born in fire. This molten lava cooled down rapidly under pressure and sharp, natural, unforgiving, and pure. It represents everything I've been through. The fire adver of adversity, the pressure of precision, uh, the sharp clarities of purpose. Obsidian cues isn't just a name. It's a statement. No matter what I've been through, I will still create, I will still refine, and I will still build. So, you know, what's the difference now? Here's what Obsidian Cues stands for. I build, or I'm going to build now, coming into this, I'm only going to build about 6 to 12 cues per year. No more no less. Each cue is a standalone, one of a kind, serial numbered, and unique. Uh, no auctions, no custom orders. When it's ready, it's offered, and it goes to whoever claims it. Otherwise, it just sits here. No pressure, no stress. All natural materials, and, and, and that's the way it's always been. You know, no paint, no ebonizing. Uh, if I want black, I'll use Gabon ebony. All wood is aged and stabilized, you know, at least by a year. Nothing fresh, nothing rushed. Tolerances are held within a half a thousandth of an inch. And every detail is machined with CNC level accuracy and then fitted and installed and finished by hand. Each cube is a fusion of cold precision and warm craftsmanship. This is refined. Well, this is probably the most refined work of my life, honestly. Um, 
a lot of people may ask, you know, well, hey, if you've got all this stuff going on, you, you're building, you know, machines now and you have the Q Makers Guild going on. Well, why do you still teach? <clears throat> Even with this new direction, I will never stop teaching. The Q Makers Guild lives on and more videos are coming because I remember 1995. I remember not having anyone to ask. And now I've made it my mission to be the that person for others, you know, uh, because I didn't have it when I was there. If you're if you're learning from me, you're learning from someone who's done it all, good and bad, from crude lathes and dull cutters to precision engineered jigs and custom software. And I want you to succeed. Obsidian Qs is my expression, but Qmaker's Guild is my legacy. So, final words. KCC was the foundation. Obsidian Qs is the masterpiece. Uh, I've walked through fire. I've built in the darkness. I fought back against odds that wanted me done. And I came out sharper than ever. Thank you for following this journey. Whether you're a player, a cue maker, a machinist, or just someone who appreciates what goes into handmade work of art. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep, do it, to keep building, but I do know this. Every cue I make from this point forward will carry a piece of that fire with it and a piece of me with it. So continue watching Cue Makers Guild and welcome to Obsidian Cues, forged in fire, driven by passion, built by hand, refined by machine, crafted for those who truly understand. Thank you for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow the builds and the how-tos and stuff like that that we offer. And if a Q ever calls your name, you know, listen carefully. It may be the only one of its kind forever. Take care. Keep building. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.